Right, let's uh, move on, talk to our, our next guest, uh, who is a spokes lady for uh, a new organisation which is called Just Stop Oil, M- uh, Miranda Whelan. Uh, Miranda, good evening to you. Hi, James and Ash. Thank you for Hi. having me on. Hi, Dan. Uh, our pleasure. M- Miranda, just tell me about uh, what Just Stop Oil is all about. Um... We're a movement of people across the UK that are asking the government to make a meaningful statement to stop new oil licensing and exploration um, in the North Sea. It's a bad time for that, though, isn't it? Um, What what, uh, I thought was going on at the moment was that actually uh, little Jimmy Cranky up in Scotland wouldn't allow oil to come out into Scotland anyway at the moment. Yes, but actually the government is looking at creating 42, exploring 42 new oil fields and creating 42 new sites, which goes completely against the climate targets that they've set and which would be basically completely detrimental for my generation's future. So we're here to take action and to get Mm. the government to uphold the promises that they made. Um, why, Why would it be detrimental? Because all the scientists is all the scientists are, are telling us what um, what oil is doing to our to our planet, to our economy, and to our future. We can see all over the world right now heat waves, floods, wildfires, to levels that we have never experienced. And this is really down to our burning of fossil fuels, mm. and it's only going to get worse. I was just looking through the most recent IPCC report, and it tells us we have a brief and rapidly closing window of opportunities to secure a livable future for all. Hmm. And our government um, is completely throwing that away. Yeah. Uh, what about um, what about fracking? Is is fracking OK or not? We're here. I'm just here to talk about oil. And I think that's oh, okay, what I fine. Yeah. our government could yeah. do. But we're not ready to not have oil, are we? We're, we're here to actually talk about the new oil licensing. Of course, we can't just get rid of oil overnight. Right. I'm not here to be unrealistic, but we're asking mm. for them to not go ahead with these 42 new oil fields, which would take us... They're talking about carbon neutral by 2050. We wouldn't even be carbon neutral by, mm. you know... Yeah, but we can see with world affairs, we do need to stop buying it off other people. We need, If we can produce our own, you know, energy security just for now and then look at the future because we can see the problems of not having our own energy mm. supply, our own oil. The thing is, we actually, we have more than enough, don't we? We have more than enough to carry us through. We're not, fact- not really. I mean, are you, are you prepared, are you prepared to allow oil to continue to flow then un- until uh, we, we can find other, other substitutes for oil? Or do you want it definitely stopped at a particular time, whether or not uh, we have managed to get all these sort of renewable, so-called renewables into place? I think in answer to that, we have the question, we have, sorry, we have the answers, we have the technology, we have the alternative solutions. Our government are just not following through any any of them. They're putting more than a million every single hour into fossil fuel subsidies. I just find that absolutely maddening, to be honest, when we're all suffering with a cost of living crisis, Mm -hmm. when there's a war going on, when I'm reading at university what's going to happen to my future and the government are just burning it right now. Hold it there, Miranda, for a moment. We've got to take a short break. We'll come right back after this. Uh, right, welcome back. We're talking with Miranda William from a new organisation that uh, has uh, just uh, been launched called uh, Just Stop Oil. In fact, on Julia's programme this morning, uh, a guy called uh, Louis Mc, uh, M- McKenzie, McK- McKechnie, um, actually was speaking to her. He made the headlines over the weekend uh, by uh, oh, yeah, yeah. tying himself tying himself to uh, a goalpost at uh, Everton Park. He had a chat with um, Julia this morning. I want you to have a little listen to it. It's quite interesting. Here is part of it. Are you a climate denier, Julia? Um, Now, you see, climate denier comes from people being Holocaust deniers. It's a ridiculous way of having a conversation. So if you want to have a sensible conversation, I can do that. I don't deny climate because climate is there. So that would be a silly thing to deny. What I do is question some of the ridiculous, outrageous, silly claims of some people who claim we're in a climate crisis or emergency, none of which have actually been borne out by any of the actual facts we've got. So I'm asked you again, how is oil and gas killing people? 
So you're a denier of science then, Julie? Denier you don't listen of science. to the scientists? No, All I do listen to the science. I don't, it's no, it's us. not possible to deny science. science Julia, is actual... you have a 16-year-old daughter. I what don't doubt I have a 15-year-old daughter. What are you doing to protect her future from this crisis? Well, what I would like to do to protect her from this crisis would be for us to frack for shale gas and to build nuclear power stations. Let him finish his bit. Fracking will kill us even faster. How will fracking kill us even faster? It will faster, destroy our lands, destroy our crops. Destroy our destroy lands. Destroy our crops. How will it destroy our, our crops? Julia, you're literally letting uh, oil into the soil. I, I think how... um, I think we'll we'll uh, leave Louis there, who was uh, chained to the um, the goalpost. Should have uh, left Miranda, him on I, there. Yeah, should have left. Yeah, should have left him there. Uh, Miranda, I hope you're not thinking of doing anything like that, are you? I would just like to say I really don't understand how someone who does genuinely deny the climate crisis is still allowed on a me media platform right now. Do you not who, understand? Who's freedom of speech. Well, your, your friend <laughs> Louis. You're, no, you're to, are you talking Julia, about Julia? Your, your colleague. I've, My colleague I've Julia. Say, I've heard her say that the climate crisis is just propaganda on one of her mm. shows. I just don't understand how you can still... Well, it is. I mean, proper, it is propaganda, I'm afraid. I mean, the, the, the idiotic things that a lot of people like, insulate Britain, uh, Extinction Rebellion, because I thought they were really good because, because they actually made people realise that it's just stupidity. Who is it propaganda for? Well, you tell me. It's propaganda no. for people like you, really, isn't it? But you're now being shown up to be the idiots that you are. You only want to have your say. You don't want anyone else to be able to have their say. How can this be our say when we're just trying to listen to the science? You can look out the window... Why do you go on about science, happened. Miranda? What are, you, are you studying because science? Because I'm at do university you know? and I've just been studying science... You're at university. Years, and I can see what's happening. You can't at all. You're, and I'm, I don't wish to be patronising, and that's the problem I'm going to have, because I am going to be. You're 20 years old. I don't suppose you've ever had really to fend for yourself. You don't know what it's like to be in debt, probably, except the sort of debt you are at university. You don't know what it's like to have to sort of uh, finance your life. And, and you're going on about, oh, well, we're going to have a terrible you don't know future. Of about course you're science. not. You don't know anything about my life. He knew you were 20, I'm pretty 20. sure if you're 20 years old, there won't have been a lot that you'll be doing. So with other people who maybe have lived a little longer than you, Miranda, maybe you should listen to some of the other sides of the story. Maybe you should listen to the people who are on the front line of this crisis right now. Look at what is who, happening. Who's on the front line in, of the look crisis at what right is now? what's happening in Madagascar, one of the biggest famines that they've ever seen. In Australia, the biggest flooding that they have literally ever seen we've just had the strongest storm for 30 years the warmest new for year's 30 on years record. yeah you know uh, let me let me tell you that i've been doing this job for a long long time 50 years and all through the job we've had climate problems we were going to be underwater back in the 70s the sea level was rising back in the 80s we were heading for a new ice age uh, and now we're heading for a uh, global warming well one thing is, and I don't deny any of those, by the way, because the climate continues to change, Miranda, and it will continue to change. I'm a big fan of cleaning up the oceans, a big fan of, of, of keeping the planet a lot cleaner than it has been, and I'm a big fan of cutting back on the amount of human beings there are. But this whole idea that if we continue to burn oil or fossil fuels that we're all going to die is ridiculous. We will all die one, one day anyway, and the planet will probably not be hospitable for human beings at some point in the future too. So, you know, all this hysteria, that's what you're, you're doing, generating hysteria. Have you read the latest IPCC report? It'll be like all the other IPCC reports. And the no, other, and read, I haven't read have it, no. Read and the, uh, no, I haven't read it. And it makes no difference because that's one set of scientists that you're listening to. And the thing about science, Miranda, is it changes. by every government on this planet. That's rubbish. That's and it, not you one know set it. of scientists. It's that is not every government on this planet either. It's not every government. But look, I'm trying to help you here because all I'm going to say is if you pull any more stunts like your friend Louis did over the weekend, you're just going to end up, as you are now, as a laughing stock. Have you got any planned? Oh, no. Yeah, there, there will be more action because this is then, this is all then, that we have that's left to do. When Why our don't you work democratically? Why don't you know? When that's... our media is failing us. 
You won't even talk about Rubbish. what's really happening. Rubbish. Your oil is You're here. Our Most You're media here. are on your side. Hang, hang, on, hang on, Ash. You talk about it. Go on, talk about it. I'm giving you a couple of minutes. You talk about it. We need to just stop oil and we need to do it now. I've sat at university for three years and I've learned about what is happening. I have seen the people that are being impacted by this right now. And this is serious. This is serious. You and have if just you seen what you're told you... by lecturers and you're, you're actually, oh, you haven't seen anything at all. Yes, and I if know. that's all you can say, you've said that before, and I disagree with you, and so do lots of other no. people disagree with you. How can and you disagree freedom means, and democracy means, just because you think it doesn't mean it's right. We don't have democracy in this country. Come on. We do. You talk rubbish. You've been at university for three years. Have you learned nothing? Well, I've learned what have you studied? What have you been studying? The reason that I am here. It's what are you studying? What, what are you studying? That's a personal question. I don't. I don't. Oh, don't be know. ridiculous! What are you studying? I'm studying about what is happening in countries that are, that are not like well, ours. Why won't you say then? Countries. I'm studying international development, and I have seen what is happening in these countries. How climate change is impacting people. How climate change is impacting marginalised people, poorer people, women across this world. This is not some kind of joke and it's honestly not why do you keep going crazy? back to women why 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 do you keep going back to women all human beings are as equal was as each other time, aren't they that was literally the first time i've mentioned women in this interview no you've done it three times i've counted no i haven't mm. but i i'm not really bothered about what sex people are anyway but the fact is that the climate is changing always has changed and it may well be that mankind has actually helped the change in one way or the other. But the thing is, we need to adapt to live in an ever-changing climate. It's not going to stay the same. It's never we going we to stay the adapt. same. We will not be able to adapt if we continue with oil, and that is why we are asking this government, who is supposed to be a climate leader, that is so to stop ridiculous. oil licensing and exploration. That is oil just, is that not is the problem. Asking. But that's not going to lower the oil consumption, is it? By us not, We'll just get it somewhere else. Yeah, of course. But our government needs to lead the way in a transition. We can so change quite, the way. But first, look, first of all, I don't agree with you anyway. I don't think oil is a problem at all. And if there is a problem no, that this planet don't has... Think that oil is a problem? Because, I've, because if you talk to certain scientists, they will tell you uh, that whatever we do is going to affect the planet. So mm -hmm. if you're talking to me about solar power and you're talking about wind power, those two things are going to have huge problems as well. Uh, generating electric cars from those huge batteries, the whole thing, everything yeah. you do... There's not enough lithium for does, everyone to have that. Everything we do is going to cause a problem. You say you listen to those scientists who are telling you that oil is not a problem, but what about the majority of scientists who are telling us it is? You can't just well, they've never actually one. just picked on oil. They have said that uh, the combustion... You're talking about cars, basically, aren't you? The IPCC report literally said the alarm bells are deafening. Greenhouse they've been gases saying it for years. fossil fuels are choking our planet and putting billions of people at immediate risk. But it's not that true. Is from the top side. It's not true. Who is, who is choking, Miranda? Who is choking at this moment? Maybe the 99,000 people in the UK who die from oil from air pollution every single year. That's one Rubbish. in five deaths in the we whole world. We all die from something to do with the environment, don't we? We all die all over the world from something. We can't all live forever. If you, if you had a, a country, if you lived in a hot country, you'd have to be very careful that the sun didn't do you in, wouldn't you? All I can say is that my generation want change and they want... A you don't speak for your liberal. generation. You don't speak for your generation. I have a grandson you. who thinks neither you're talking rubbish. I'm not pretending to. I am just inviting people like you onto the air to have the freedom to have your say so that everybody yeah. can see how ridiculous you are. Some people may agree with you and they'll give me a lot of stick, but then that's what freedom of speech is. That's what democracy is and this is a democratic country. 
And you say it's not. Where else could you get away with tying yourself to a goalpost? We are in a desperate situation and I don't know what you can expect from people when the government is not acting like they should. But how's that going to help, tying yourself to a goalpost? The truth. Because there's nothing left to be done. We have tried everything. Yeah, but that's not going to work, is it? We have signed petitions. We sent a letter to the government asking them to engage in a conversation and they've ignored us time and time and time again. But you're not clever enough to engage in a conversation because what you're talking is rubbish at the moment. I mean, look at the tax on petrol at the moment. We, you know, a lot of people will be using a lot less, less petrol now. So, I mean, you must be... That, that's, uh, that will lower the oil consumption considerably. It's much, much bigger than that. We need to stop. Well, could you explain now. it to us then? We've given you loads of time, but, you know, explain it. Where are we obviously not getting it? What, what, are, what is yeah, wrong? How can we change it? Where, where could we replace yeah. oil? Because if we, if we believed what you were talking about, we could start a whole big campaign in the media. You say it's what I'm talking about, but what I'm talking about is what the science is saying. Oh, you keep talking about science. Look, because science changes continually. You're, that it's ridiculous. you're not listening to you're me. You're calling either, me are you? ridiculous. I am listening to you, but I don't understand. Science how... changes. And the science of today will be extremely different to the science in five or ten years' time, as the science 15, 20, 10 years ago was different. Because they were saying, I think 10 years ago, we wouldn't be able to live on the planet now, today. Now they're saying we won't be able to live on the planet, yeah. some of them, not all of them, by the way. Some of them are saying, oh, we won't be able to live on the planet in another 10 or 15 years unless we do something radical. The weather changes, Miranda. The weather has always changed. So do you believe it's right for the government to put this amount of money into oil every single day? I don't think they they're putting nearly enough money into oil because it's costing us more and more. I just got my heating bill for oil in and it's almost doubled in the last few months. So I don't actually think they're putting enough in and I probably share that with a lot of other people who are finding it yeah. difficult to, uh, to, to find the money to pay for their heating and their eating. Because well, thousands of people freeze to death. What about those people? You talk about people, you know dying of being of pollution what about people dying? But shouldn't the oil industry the ceos of bp who literally just said they have more money than they know what to do with shouldn't they be paying for those things couldn't they be paying for that aren't they going green in the future people? bp are looking to just use uh, green energy aren't they at the same time that they're burning you don't more oil what, than what, making worry, what worries me <laughs> what worries me miranda is that you've been at university for three years and you've just learnt nothing about life. I mean, is what it the fact that now you known platform people like me all the time and your lecturers are sort of so up their own bums that nobody's beginning to actually learn about the real world? Is that what's going on? My time at university has taught me more about the real world, world than I have learned anywhere else, to be honest, in my life. Well, you haven't been alive very long, so I don't understand how that can be. Well, don't shake your head at me as if you know better. But don't patronise me like that as if I can't... Well, you're patronising me. Your age. mate was patronising Julia. You've already said people like Julia and I mm. shouldn't have a platform on the air no. because people like you mm. are not democratic and you yeah. don't believe in freedom of speech. And that turns people against you, even if you are That's right, you know, true. what you're doing. Not She's true. not right. It turns it people against you, isn't it? No, I've, got, I've had you on for nearly half an hour. Yeah, and I'm very grateful to have this conversation. What I was saying about Julia is she has said that she doesn't believe in climate change, and I just think that's a dangerous narrative to be putting well, out. Well, she's never said Even she doesn't believe in climate change. She said she believes in... Obviously, you can't change. The climate will always change, Miranda. It's, it's always going to change. It? It's, it's not going to stay... No, it's not going to. We've had ice ages before. We've had times of great heat where the, yeah. over here it was almost like a desert. It changes continually. Yeah. You only need a couple of super volcanoes to go off and we will actually have huge destruction across the planet. You only need we more sunspots. destruction against our planet. We are seeing that destruction, destruction right now. You're not. How do you, you're, you really how do you, are not. How do you explain 
the wildfires in Australia last year and the flooding in Australia right now. How do you explain that? That's climate change, but not, you know, that just happens every, you know, might happen every few hundred years. <laughs> Except it's all happening at the same time, isn't it? Across the world, it's happening faster yeah, it's than ever. Yeah, changes in the world. And that's going in exactly in line with the temperatures of our planet that are increasing and how much yeah. oil we are putting it out. It's increasing. And when it, exactly it's absolute time. rubbish, absolute rubbish. I'm sorry, Miranda, but you are listening and taking in the wrong idea. What we need to do is we need to realise that we've overpopulated the planet and we need to realise we need to keep it cleaner, we need to realise that we have to build housing for future climates, we need to stop building on floodplains, we need to do all kinds of things. But while we have people like Extinction Rebellion, Insulate Britain and now, what is it called, Just Stop Oil, people are going to laugh at it. They're going to think it's funny. And I think that is completely and an, an utterly wrong, and you're causing it. You can have the last word. I've got to go in two seconds. Okay. Go I don't think people are laughing at it. The British public have said that climate change is the biggest concern for them. I think this is the action that we need to take, and I think this action is going to continue. And I am very grateful that you have given me this opportunity to have a conversation and i just hope that we can keep having these conversations and that we can make these changes because we need to stop oil all right and we need to do uh, it now miranda thank you very much indeed